Kukowski with dietsinterview.com and today I'm joined with Katherine Budig, one of the rising yoga stars, rising, her star is shining quite bright right now. How are you doing today, Katherine? I'm great, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Everyone's kicking off the new year with all of these New Year's resolutions and trying to get fit. Do you think yoga is one of the easier ways for people who might not have a background in fitness to get started? I do, just because there's so many different levels and styles of yoga, so there's there's literally something for everyone. And if you've never done anything physical in your entire life, you can enter into a really gentle Hatha class. Or if you have an athletic background and you really like to sweat, you can get into a vinyasa flow or a power class. And it's um, it's a very contagious feeling when you get into the room with everyone else, too, and all the unified breathing and the sweating, and, and you just leave the room every single time feeling better and think, okay, this was worth it. I want to come back tomorrow Absolutely. or as soon as I can. So it's a great New Year's resolution to set. I always say that I sleep better on the nights that I do yoga than Definitely. on the nights that I don't go. I mean, I can – I have – I. The class that I go to starts at 8.30 and we get out about 10 o'clock so I can go home and go straight to bed. And it's just, mm, it's that's the best. <laughs> it's, it's the best. You're off the you're way into bed. <laughs> it is. What are, what are some of the trends for yoga that you kind of see happening this year? Uh, hmm. There, there was a big handstand trend going on last year that was kind of the hot pose that everyone wanted to learn how to do. Um, honestly, I feel like it, it's more of a mental trend this year. I'm seeing people, yoga's becoming so mainstream that people are getting into the mind and spirituality element and not just the body anymore. So I'm seeing people making, it's like a resolution, making intentions that they're trying to set on a daily basis and putting that into their physical practice, which is really exciting because I'd love to see more of that because then it affects your entire life and not just your exercise regime. So it's that shift of people physically looking better, feeling better, behaving better, interacting better, and uh, it has an awesome trickle effect, yes. which makes everyone else around us bearable to be around. <laughs> Absolutely. I think it's one of the best stress relievers, at least for me. I can you know, have a mess of a day and go spend an hour doing yoga and feel completely recharged. Yeah. So you have been, I think that that's a great kind of segue for my next question is, you know, how the practice of yoga can translate into other areas of your life. You've been praised for being as young as you are, um, not quite 30 yet, and being as successful as you are. How do you think yoga has played a role in that, in your success? And how can other people kind of channel some of that themselves? Um, I'm, I'm the kind of girl who likes to have my hands in about 10 different cookie jars at once when it comes to projects, and I used to have the mindset that um, if something shiny and amazing would present itself to me, I had to get it, and I knew I could do it, so, you know, give it to me, I can handle this, and then if I didn't get the job, I would spend almost double the time working up towards it being disappointed or feeling like an opportunity like this will never come by again. So I think the yoga practice has really taught me that everything comes to you as it should as long as you're showing up and you're dedicated every single day and you're doing your best every single day. And there is such thing as going beyond your best, which is obsessive and unhealthy, and that's what causes a lot of stress. So I sleep well even with a full schedule and lots to do because I take things day at a time. I don't think about what I have to do next week or what I have to do a month from now. It's, it's literally, okay what's on the agenda for today and how am I going to achieve this and ever since I started thinking that way and, and yoga just slows you down it makes you it's not compartmentalizing so much but just um, seeing what's in front of your face instead of the story that you've woven for yourself and I feel like that's been such a huge key to my success is it keeps me calm and it allows me to balance everything and um, not overfill my plate mm -hmm. we could all use a little bit more of, of that Pushing things off of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have going? You know, you, you say you're only looking one day at a time, but I'm sure you've you've scoped out at least a few months this year. <laughs> I know you've got technically it is mapped out for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you've got a few yoga uh, yoga retreats this year that'll take you 
abroad and a big book that's coming out. Can you tell us about those? Yes, I am on deadline for my book right now. It's Women's Health Magazine's The Big Book of Yoga through Rodale Press. And it is indeed big. It's massive. I will be very happy to hand it over. <laughs> it's been really amazing to write. It's, it's kind of like the encyclopedia of yoga right now. So that'll be coming out holiday season this year. And retreat-wise, I'm heading over to the Four Seasons in Maui, which I know I have a very difficult job. And we're going to be there February 27th to March 3rd, which is going to be amazing. And then I'm heading down to Queenstown, New Zealand for a week from March 10th to the 17th for yoga. And I'm going to be taking people skydiving who want to go and wine tasting and maybe some hobbit hunting and whatnot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then the rest of the year, it conferences through Yoga Journal and festivals and workshops, which I have up on my website. It's... There's, I'm always somewhere, somewhere near you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and your your primarily home is in Santa Monica, where you teach, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, in California. Perfect, perfect. Well, that's a great setting, obviously, to do yoga. It's very peaceful. Oh yeah, it's 78 degrees outside, and it's January right now. I'm about to put on my shorts and take my dog for a walk after this. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. No complaining. <laughs> no. Well, about and with your dog, you do some work with toe socks and Poses for Paws, which is a nonprofit. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about that? Um, well, Toe Socks is a company that I've been working with for a few years, and I model their sock line for their yoga line. They have a Pilates line also. And they're amazing, and I have this project called Poses for Paws. And what we do is we choose a foundation or a project or organization per year that we really believe in and we think is contributing back at, through animal shelters and work. And then whatever group we're working with, we take all the proceeds that we raise throughout the year through events and retreats and workshops, and we deliver it to whatever group we're working with. So we're working with the Beagle Freedom Project right now, and they go around and they take beagles that are the most commonly used dog in, in um, laboratory testing, and they pull them out when they're normally destroyed and rehab them and get them homes. And it, I can't talk about it for too long because I get emotional. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's, it's very near and dear to my heart. And it's a, just it's a great way. Yogis, it's so easy for us to give back. You just get a class together and ask people to donate, and boom, you have donations. And it, it's part of the yogic path. It's, uh, it's called Seva work. It means giving back to your community. And, yeah, and I have my adorable little dog. She's out in the backyard right now, and she inspires me every day. And Toe Socks was cool enough to ask me to design a sock for them, and they, they said that a portion of the proceeds would go towards Poses for Paws. Wonderful. So she, my dog, got to do a photo shoot with me for it. It's very and, adorable. <laughs> yeah, the little Miss Diva pants. <laughs> uh, it's great, and I'm hoping to create more and more projects that will give back to Poses for Paws, um, and hopefully it'll turn into something big and, and wonderful right now. She's sticking her head on the corner. She's trying to say hi. <laughs> yep. Say hi to everyone. There she is. Oh, what a sweetie. Well, she is clearly ready to go play and have a walk. So, she Catherine, is. thank you for your time today. It's really great awesome. getting to know you. Thank you, Brandy. And introducing you to our readers at diasandreview.com. Have oh. a happy new year. You too. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye.